you are one of those people who are not really looking forward to write any entrance exams but really wants to score well in boards, then this is the video for you. Firstly, apologies for the late video and also for the lighting today. The first thing I want you to do is choose your path. Number one, do you want to be those people who don't do anything the entire year and just cram up for boards like anything right before boards? Or do you just want to smoothly go through a study process of about probably two, three hours every day and not have anything to stress about right before the exams? If you're choosing the second path, then yes, you have made the right choice. And that is the choice I've been making consistently for all my school years. What you need is daily practice. That is it. Suppose you're coming from school, you probably did two paragraphs in five subjects today, or two pages maybe. You come home, you just read those two pages. If you have any doubts, you find out from YouTube, you ask some of your friends, you clear out your concepts, you look at questions related to those topics, probably will take you half an hour. So if you take five subjects into half an hour, two and a half hours to three hours, just two and a half hours to three hours of studies every single day will probably relieve you from so much stress and get you so much better marks than others throughout the year. Trust me, you do not want to be those people who score pathetic in their internals the entire year and end up getting amazing marks in boards because that kind of success is commendable but is not exactly right. I feel I've been repeating this for way too long but if you don't have any best friends yet, I sound so mean but anyways, I, I'm sure all of you have best friends but it's time you make a new one that is NCRT. Very cheesy but that's true. You really need NCRT and if you're targeting only boards, in fact even for entrance exams, NCRT is everything. You get, there isn't a single question or probably one question or so every year which is out of NCRT. So what you need to do is master NCRT if you need full in boards. If you're targeting for a decent score even then, it's better that you know each and every aspect of NCRT so that you can easily write an answer without leaving them blank. I'm really not going to waste time talking about each and every individual subject, but I'd like to give you a few examples. For example, physics. For physics, you just need class notes. You probably need the additional exercise questions, the exercise questions and example questions from NCRT. That's it. You're well to do and you can probably score really well in all your internals and right before the board exams just practice previous year questions maths it's very important that to that you do miscellaneous examples because most of the questions come from miscellaneous exercises and it's also important that you find out a few previous year questions and practice papers online or your teachers will be providing them to you so i wouldn't go on individual subjects i'll talk about english bio etc later if you want me to make a video about it, please comment down below. And yeah, obviously bio, you need to know every single line of NCRT if you want 100. You need to know every single diagram, you need to know every single labeling. And I am not... Dekho yaar, we're again back to the same point, that is concept clearance. I don't, I don't really suggest going for YouTube videos when you're studying only for boards, okay? YouTube videos, I obviously use them. But I only use them to clear out specific concepts. So suppose I'm reading something, I don't understand this part, I don't have any teacher next to me to explain it to me, I search it out on YouTube and I learn that single concept. But honestly learning entire entire chapters on YouTube is something I wouldn't recommend. Instead do NCRT, if you have any doubts, ask your teacher or search it up on YouTube. And honestly, do not go for any kind of reference books. It's a complete investment loss, pata nahi kya bolu main. but don't go for reference books when you're only targeting for boards. You just need NCRT and you need some questions which the school will provide you or you can find numerous questions online. You do not need any kind of reference books. Reference books only confuse you. 
the entire theory you need to know or in fact mug up for cbse but i don't know like cbse has been changing a bit because of this education policy so i'm talking based on what cbse i've experienced so do not go for reference books and this is the last and final thing which you have to do before boards that is previous year papers until now cbse's trend has been 90% of questions will be from previous year papers so right before boards do not look on learning some concept or learning theory because honestly it might work sometimes but sometimes you all you need is practice from previous year papers and you might see some question which is similar to the same kind of questions before so yeah right before your boards you have pre boards you have pre boards too you have what not and that is because schools basically follow this one policy which i really believe in the more you read the more you retain if your ultimate goal is scoring well in board exams then you need to do do the syllabus again and again and again so that you keep improving and you need to do the syllabus again and again that's going to happen when you give the same kind of syllabus exams again and again and that's why you have all these pre boards vagera vagera so if you really want great marks and boards it's important that from i think september october november se hi you try learning full syllabus properly and by the time boards come you will not be stressed about anything bas aaram se padh ke chale jana again do not stress for boards you can get amazing scores just by doing 3 hours of study every day and i've done it and i know it so don't be worried for boards you just have to be consistent in your studies you don't have to stress out right before the exams you don't have to sit for pata nahi 15 ghante before the exam and keep reading if you just follow these simple tips all right we've come to the end of the video again i'm really sorry if i can't upload well in this coming month because there are many things i have to travel to india for writing need so yeah stuff is a bit haphazard so might not be possible but i'll try to upload at least two or three videos in the time before need and after that i'll be pretty consistent so yeah thank you for watching if you need more videos like this do comment down below i will not be available on instagram for a while so feel free to comment below if you have to ask anything